Yes, it is time for the weekly challenge. What do we have in store for this week's challenge? It's going to be really cool. So for those of you that were in my class last semester, you remember that I proved that 0 is equal to 1 in a number of different ways. Well, what I'll do now is use integration by parts to prove once more that 0 is equal to 1. How cool is that? So let's get started. So I want to evaluate the following integral, integral of dx over s. Very simple. But I want to do it using integration by parts. All right, so let's, let me write down the formula for integration by parts to make sure we're all on the same page. Now I'm going to pick my functions. I'm going to choose u to be equals to 1 over x and dv to be simply dx. All right, now if I do that, then du is equal to minus 1 over x squared dx, and v is the integral of dx, which is just x. And I can substitute that on the right-hand side to evaluate by integration by parts uv gives me 1 over x times x minus the integral of v du, which is x times minus dx over x squared. can now simplify the right-hand side. 1 over x times x is 1. Minus lines cancels, I get plus, and then I get the integral of dx over x. And the same thing on the left-hand side. You probably see where I'm going. Now I can certainly subtract on both sides of the equation, the integral of dx over x. Why not? But what do I get if I do that? Well, on the left-hand side, I get 0. And on the right-hand side, I get 1. Boom! Here it is. 0 is equal to 1. So there's either a mistake here, or mathematics is wrong, and I just quit my job. So it is up to you to find out the mistake. Good luck. Enjoy.